Joining us for the next lot of interviews is a good friend and work colleague of mine, uh, Miss Rachel Toy. So, um, Rach, hello, good evening. Hi, hi Rach. <laughs> thank you for joining me and thank you for joining uh, the rest of the Facebook fam. Thank um, you. No worries. So we'll start off with our first question. What do yep. you do at Forest View? I teach English and social studies, so I teach year nines, tens, and year elevens, and I'm also the dean of awesome Arapuni. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew you were going to I had to get it in. <laughs> and for those that don't know who, um, which lake Arapuni is, what colour lake are you? We're blue. Yeah. Sharks. We're the sharks. Go the sharks. <laughs> Thank you, Rach. Uh, second question, how long have you worked at Forest View? Oh, I had to think about this. Um, 11 years. So I started at Forest View when Maya was three months old. Wow. And I actually was in your job. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, Richard Crawford, saw me come out to visit mum one day with Maya and he's like hey you're a teacher and I was like yep and at that time I was on maternity leave from Cambridge Middle School and um he's like I've got a job for you because I think it was Mrs Manning Mannering or Manning was leaving and so he wanted me to teach English but he's like I'll just throw you in and do some attendance and stuff first and then I started relieving in English Really? So yeah, 11 years, it's a long time. I know, Rach, it is so uh, cool. And to think, yeah. Maya is what, was three months at the time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Next, next question we've got here. So, obviously, do you have any kids or pets you want to tell us about? I do. I've got a cat called Chloe. Um, I say she's my cat, but Tristan owned her, so, yep. And I've got Maya, who's 11. Tristan is seven and Kaylin is five. They kept me busy. <laughs> awesome, Rach. Um, what is the best place you have tra ever travelled to? Oh, I've got two. My in New Zealand um, place to travel is always Raglan. I love Raglan. Mm. And um, it's where my dad's family's from. So it's pretty special. And we have lots of family time in that there. So, mm. and my kids love it. Like mm. they pretended they were in Raglan on lockdown <laughs> in their little tents in the um, lounge so oh, yeah Raglan is my all-time favorite in New Zealand and out hands down would be Japan uh -huh. um, such a special country and um, really cool connections mm. there now through school so yeah that would be my ultimate overseas place and um, yeah. when you've gone with our students um, they've come back they've come back from Japan impacted by the culture yeah. and, you know, so, you know, that's a awesome lasting memory for these kids to have once they leave high school. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's um, really, you know how when people explain places to you and, you and you pump it up, but I think you have to actually go there to really like experience it for yourself. How like, it's amazing. Yeah. And words and pictures and stuff just don't do it justice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, Rach. Um, what is your favourite number? I've got two. <laughs> I'm greedy. Um, I like three and 13. And oh. I was thinking about this. I actually like things that come in pairs, but for some reason, I've always loved three and 13. So things that come in lots of three are really lucky. And I'm a bit against the grain. Um, so 13, because everyone says, oh, it's done lucky. Yeah. yeah. It's actually <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Yeah. I'll get it, girl. Me too. <laughs> Crazy. You like pears, but you like the number three. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Against the grain, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, next question. Where were you born? I was born in 886. Yeah, <laughs> in Tokoroa. Yep. Um, in Tokoroa. And um, I've pretty much been here my whole life, apart from when I went away from uni and I worked in Cambridge. So I was away for like a few years and I always swore I was never coming back to Tarek. <laughs> Home's no day. Yeah, yeah. Love it. <laughs> um, and final question, Rach. 
What is one thing you like doing in your spare time? Oh, I've got lots of things, but family is always really important to me. <laughs> and adventures. I love all sorts of adventures. I'm not really um, a good person to kind of sit down and relax. Like I like to be out and about and doing stuff. So yeah, adventures, definitely. <laughs> but how did you handle the lockdown? Um, it was probably the first time in a long time that I've kind of relaxed, although I did train during lockdown, so I was still out of the house, and we walked most days and stuff like that, so I was still, like, real active, mm -hmm. just in a smaller bubble. Yeah, yeah. But I did miss, I did miss roaming and adventures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, wicked Rach. Hey, thank you so much for um, joining me this evening for the um, for our interview. And, thank you. Um, I really enjoyed. It. I feel like we could have carried on for uh, an oh, hour. Could have chatted for hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you, Rach, and um, we'll catch you tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, Rach. Take care. See ya.